In the last video, we started Chapter 2 of Service Pack 4, Microsoft Works, and we're going to continue by looking at some of the programs here in the Choose a Program list. So we last left off with Dictionary, so if you want to look up some words, you can. Type in anything you want, such as computer, computer animation, computed, all kinds of words in it. This dictionary has a lot of words. And um, you have parental controls here, too. So, uh, I mean, because the dictionary has, a, like, all the words, including the not-so-good words. So, parental controls are here for that. PowerPoint Viewer. Now, even if you do not have Microsoft Office or PowerPoint individually, Microsoft Works does come with PowerPoint Viewer, so you, you can view PowerPoint presentations, and um, you don't even have to have a PowerPoint for that. Works Portfolio. This is good for pictures. We open it up. We can import pictures here and keep track of them in like a collection of pictures. This is a nice little program. And if we if we go and hit this button on the very end, it puts it into this little docking type of thing where it's locked in and it's right there for your convenience. We can close that. MSN and this basically shows you all the MSN resources help projects. Here you can create projects such as plan a vacation and it basically what this does is you are given all of your things that you need to keep track of and you can check them off as you complete the things that you need to do and this basically keeps you organized if you are planning a vacation or something like that and it works comes with a lot of nice uh, templates for that to start a fundraiser if you want it gives you all the things you need to do to complete that project so this is basically the Microsoft Works Task Launcher, and we have history here. We click it. Let's go back to the home. And let's take a look at some of the programs in Microsoft Works 9. We're not going to be looking at anything dealing with the Microsoft Office because we just dealt with that in the last chapter. So let's open up the most popular program, Microsoft Works, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Works Word Processor. So we click it, it opens up. And we have Microsoft Works Word Processor. Now, a Microsoft Works Word Processor, um, very similar to that of Microsoft uh, Word previous versions of Microsoft Word in that basically what you can do is type. Type letters, resumes, uh, documents if you need to. And this is a very simple, easy to use word processor. More advanced than the word editors like WordPad and Notepad. And this is uh, a much more cheaper way to make letters and resumes if that's all you're going to do. Now, it has very, it has pretty much all the functions of Microsoft Word, but it doesn't have all the fancy ones like um, the smart art and stuff like that. But it has enough features to allow you to make documents, reports, and resumes, and anything that most people typically type in a word processor like Microsoft Word. So if if you're gonna do letters and stuff like that, all of those tools are here. 
we see some buttons here and we see some fonts and we can change the fonts if we want it's, this is very more more simpler simpler I should say than Microsoft Word and um, you can save documents if you have if you want to save in a Microsoft Word you can you can save these documents in Microsoft Word 2007 docx and um, Word 97 to 2003 doc as well as Word works uh, documented template you can make HTML text file rich text let's close this program we have works spreadsheet similar to uh, Microsoft Excel you have all the features that you have all the features you need to make all the um, keep track of all your numbers figures data information such as that all the necessary tools to keep track of that database now something that's new here to Microsoft uh, works is the use of this live search this was not really used much in previous versions and you can go ahead and type in here anything you want like and it's basically like having a search box in your word processor and anything we search in it basically take us a live search and we can search here so you actually have a web search right here in your word processor this saves time for going to the internet and typing in Google or going to uh, any other search engine but if you prefer to use a different search engine you cannot you don't have to use this but this is just quick way to get to search for something recent documents is right here this is the task pane and you can view and hide this if you want you saw earlier I got rid of the rulers I don't really like to use the rulers because I don't always need to use them but if you want the rulers here you can go to view the ruler and that's where it is this is the default look of Microsoft Works Word Processor we have browse documents browse templates new document and some tips here if you go to browse uh, templates it takes us to this back to the works uh, console here where we can choose the different Microsoft works word processor templates say if we want to do a flyer an event flyer we can go ahead and choose one and if we were to do this it would open up and there we go a nice quick template and we can go ahead and edit that like so so that's Microsoft Works task launcher we just want to take a nice look at that get you familiar with what Microsoft Works is about and this is pretty much uh, what it's about you have your home where it gives you a list of the various programs, templates, programs, and projects. And so that's Microsoft Works 9 Task Launcher in a nutshell. So um, in the next video, we're going to be taking a harder look into Microsoft Works Word Processor. And in the video after that, we'll look at Works uh, Spreadsheet. So that's it for this video.